Hi Peter. Uh, thanks for your uh, your video. I just wanted to show you uh, um, some quick ideas on the adjustment of the Mundo strap. Uh, there's there's a there's a lot of adjustment in it, and I'm sure you're discovering this already now. Um, um, but I'll just give you a few pointers that I've learned, you know, through designing it and over time. Uh, firstly, the bag tether. If you stick it either in your belt loop here, like that, and just find the Velcro stickiness there. If not in your belt loop, around your belt. Now I'm making the assumption you're using a belt. I hope so, because uh, it makes a lot of sense with obviously with this design. Um, stick it on there. The other way to do it is stick it around the belt towards the front, which is particularly useful for acoustic guitars and Spanish guitars. So for the electric guitar, around about here. Now I haven't got a bass guitar today to demonstrate with you, but um, I will show you on my uh, Les Paul. Um, right, so that's one point of adjustment there. I suppose one of the first points of adjustment is where you position your attachment head. Now I've got it positioned here, which is pretty good, around about the centre of gravity. Now, depending on um, where you position it, here, 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 high or low, um, will affect the position of the guitar, the neck position of the guitar. On some guitars, like the Fenders, you've got the the panels that are in the way. You can it's just possible to get it in a, in in one certain position, um, and that will suffice to get you a really good uh, point of adjustment. I recommend round about here uh, is a good point, and also down low here. And I'll, I'll explain why in a second. Okay, I'll just put the strap on. All right. Okay. Now you'll use. I'm going to demonstrate two techniques. You, you've probably started off using the buckle um, technique where you buckle it up. Quick, quick way of putting it on. Uh, pull the buckle over to one side. Um, put your head on. You had it high, so I'm going to put it up high there. Um, attach it on. Like you said, it's going to be neck heavy. Now adjustment here, if you want it over to the left, drag it around your chest. It's designed, as you can see with the, um, um, the triangular disc, it'll slide around your body like this. That's to enable the guitar to move around your chest so you can get that exact position that you want. Um, so let's get it on. Snap it in, just make sure it goes right down. Pull it to the position that you want and then adjust just as you have done. I've seen you do this. On your video, um, attach your front um, button. Now your base has a, an extended um, um, part of the body, and the button is a little bit further over here. So that will that, that will mean a little bit of difference, obviously, to my lumpy Les Paul here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. So um, uh, we've. As you've, uh, you you showed in your as you said in your video, uh, you, it's, it's getting the right the good angle there, um, but the guitar is still leaning out here, which is not particularly desirable. Um, it's okay, you can play away, um, but it's not as desirable. It's nice to have the guitar held in exactly the position you want, and that's how I've designed it, and that's what I want it to do for you. Um, so it's held in exactly the right position, so you can get on with the plane and not fuss around. So here. Come the, the, the bout tether. Now I've now you've been discovering the bout tether and finding out what it does. So whack it on, and it will hold the guitar. Now, dependent on the sort of guitar that you want and the neck angle that you want. Um, on on the Les Paul, you've got a panel here, which is a bloody nuisance. But anyway, <laughs> we can manage to get around that. Um, fortunately, the Les Paul has got a wide body here. So we can stick the sucker cup right on the side, which is an advantage. It gives us more adjustment opportunity. So, if, for example, if I want to um, steepen the neck, I can put the sucker cup right on the side of the guitar. And it will stay there like that. And it will hold strong. Um, and it will hold, it's really comfortable. And it will get the neck angle that you want. And that's, so it's quite easy with a Les Paul. Now, your guitar hasn't got such thickness here. So you're not going to be able to do that. You could effectively use the strap button, and that might get you in exactly the right position. Depends if you if that neck angle is right for you, that's good, and that's solid. So it's 
the um, the uh, the key ring there is designed to sort of go around around the strap button, and so you just clip that on. You've probably tried that already. That might not be the right angle for you, so you, you that uh, that is limited on angle. So to get that adjustment, I'd, ideally I'd want to maybe to put it here. Like, of course, it's not going to stick because it's darn festering panel. <laughs> uh, sort of let the air behind. So there is a solution to this. Um, um, we can get it just about there. Now that might be the right angle for you. What you can do is tighten it right up, tighten it fully up, like that. And again, that's a pretty good angle. You can still drag it around a little bit, pull it over to the right if you want. Personally, that's not ideal. I want it here. So that's quite a good position, but it's not it's not perfect, and it's because that panel's in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate to you um, a better technique for using and wearing the strap. Um, so let me just take the strap off, release it there, snap it out. It's done the guitar for a minute. Now, quickly, um, it is a faff, and uh, you know it's a bit of a fuss. But to be honest. If you're not going to get any neck or backache, it's really worth it. If you're a pro guitarist and you're putting the time in, um, it really is worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the belt like this. Let me get it around about here. I'm going to wrap. Uh, let's see if I hope you can see this around and under the belt. Tuck the buckle under. Bring it up like that. And the same on the other side. So under the belt. Bring the buckle up so it's around there. Now, if I'd recommend this position all the time. I would change the take the buckles off and turn them around so you're going to use them like this all the time because I, I this is the I think is the best position. There's more opportunities here and it distributes the weight further across the the back muscles and also into your hips, which is a great advantage. So, once you've uh, so you can get the idea, of these buckles how they. Uh, change over. Once you're there you can just leave it like that and uh, then you're set up for the, for the position that you that you want. Buckle it up and it's just around about the belt, just buckle it up tight. Okay, put your guitar on. I'm going to change the position of this. You wanted it high but I'm going to demonstrate it right down here. There's an advantage in this. The lower the strap button here the more the V angle it gives across, so the wider the spread on the shoulder blades. So that is that is a slight advantage on your ergonomics. Um, it all adds up when you're you know you're down in the pit playing on a on a concert or whatever. Um, you know if you're playing for two hours, um, it makes a huge amount of difference. Right, okay. So there we have it. Uh, attachment head low. In terms of flailing around yeah of course so that's no good at all so we're going to anchor it anchor it to the front you could use the sucker cup on this guitar here um, some guitars acoustic guitars and so on um, you know if you've got a strap button use the strap button again now what we've got here because um, this is a good advantage because the strap is coming down into your belt. We can use this area of the strap for the bow tether, which therein lies the extra adjustability. So I'm just going to whack it on here. Okay. Touch it round. There it is. Right. Let's get this right. And now I can adjust it. I've got more room to adjust to get. A shallower angle if I require it. On at the front, and there we go. So I've got the shallower angle that I want. Um, the distribution is excellent. Um, it's the weight of the guitar is passed through the back muscles as well and into the hips on the belt. It doesn't lift the trousers up because the um, the strap goes into the belt around the hip, into the forward side of the hip. Uh, this is extremely comfortable. You can play like this Les Paul, you know, you, you couldn't possibly distribute the weight better than this. You can play for hours 
like this if you need to. And uh, adjust your position here, tighten it up if you want, and you can uh, you can literally move your angle like so by sliding the bow tether up and down. So if you want that shallower angle. Well, they're rubbish. Okay, so I hope that's been useful to you. Um, for me, the angle is, I suppose, around about quite a, quite, quite a steep angle. If you want it tighter, just tighten it right up. And again, here, um, you've got a, you've got more adjustment potential. If you, if you've got the side of the guitar, like the Les Paul, put it on, that's a great advantage. But if you haven't, then in this position, in this position here, no, let's get it right. In this position, um, if you've got that advantage, the, the, the width of the guitar, that's a, a tighter advantage, it's bigger, but you can get it if you, if you wear the strap in this fashion through the belt. So I hope that's been useful to you. I've rubbed it on a bit, but um, um, I'll send this email tonight, uh, this video tonight, and uh, I hope that helps. Uh, I think I've covered everything. So I suppose um, the points of adjustment are your bow tether, just to recap, um, your tether at the front, um, the strap tether, and then importantly, the adjustment position of your attachment head. You've got a lot of variation there. Try it around. Um, a mixture of all these things, don't be afraid to slide it around your chest, a mixture of these three um, adjustment positions, you should be able to get that exact position um, for your base, so you, you, you get the full advantage of the ergonomics of the strap. Okay Peter, I hope that's helped, and uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send you an email later tonight. All the best, cheers, hasta luego.